Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rob. Welcome to the training for Trade Station on an OCO order, which is order cancels order, and we're doing it based on the stock price. I had promised a bunch of you that I would get this video out for you, so here you go. So let's go ahead and jump into our disclaimer. Basically, it says, I am not an advisor. I cannot legally tell you to buy or sell a stock. It is against the law of the SEC, which the Securities and Exchange Commission, they require you to be licensed in order to do so. I am not, and I do not want to be. So if you find a candidate or something you like today, my suggestion just paper trade it first before you ever put one penny of real money into that trade setup or indicator. All right, so guys, what we've done, what we're going to do is we're going to start off in an order sheet that we created in a previous video. We're in the positions tab. I've got uh, some stock, I've got an option, and I've got a credit spread uh, in here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we wanted to exit out of this uh, let's say the stock. If we just clicked on the stock, it will load it in the toolbar, the order bar on the top of the screen. If you don't see that, go to the view menu and put a check next to order bar. You know, so positions bar. If I click on positions bar, you see just it adds something in there. Right? So I can just X back out of that. But make sure you're seeing this. If I wanted to trade the Costco, just click on C O S T and it loads the option up there. And it loads 10 contracts. And if I didn't, or if it didn't, let's say that I had, uh, let's see, if I go to Monster, it's loading the exact dollar, the exact share. So here, if I go to Baidu, it's loading six contracts up in there. If I just, and I only have one, if I just click the P, it will resize quantity wise to my position size, whatever I have in there. So we're going to click on the Costco, we're going to click on the P, and we've got 10 contracts. We're up about $1,000 on these right now, but I want to make sure to go ahead and lock some profit into these. So the way that we're going to do this is uh, twofold. I'll show you how to do this if you already have a position, and then I'll show you how we do it from an option chain, where you are purchasing the position at the same time. So we need to click on this. If you don't see anything past this advanced bar, click on the bar. You see the arrows pointing to the right saying, hey, click on me so you open me up or the left if you want to close it up. So we click the activation rule and then there's three dots following it in a little box. Put our mouse on there click that box. And what you're going to do is you have a choice of going ahead and exiting on based on time. So I could say, you know what, I want to exit this trade by 358 today. Or I could exit on price instead and we're going to do that off of the Costco stock itself. And sorry about that. I hit uh, the enter button too fast there. So what I did is I hit COST or typed in COST and hit add. And you want to do it twice. You want to add it twice. And then what you've got there are greater than equal or just greater than, less than, and less than and equal. So we're going to use the greater than or equal to for the first order, which would be our GTC. So on Costco, you can see a daily chart in the back here of Costco, and I've got some resistance right about 158 and a half. So we're going to call it 158 is going to be our um, exit, is our GTC, is 158. So we're going to just click on the box. Don't try to double click and change. Nothing will change. You can change by the arrows, but that's a long way to go. Just click on the box and type in 158 and hit enter. All right? Leave the STT on there. I'm not going to explain what each of these features are, right? Single trade tick, but there is a in the help menu you can find these as well. And we're going to change this to or. I don't need this condition to be give me the GTC and the stop loss. It's the GTC or the stop loss to trigger the order. So then Costco again on the stock, we're going to do less than or equal to. And I'll explain everything I just did here once I get through it. And I'm going to put it at 152.50. Right? So what do I have? If you read the first line, I already have Costco. It says I want to sell my Costco option. It's activated. See in the options bar up here in the order bar, it says options. That's the Costco symbol. I clicked activation for this order right here to sell it. Greater than or equal to 158 or less than or equal to 152 and a half. Once I'm done, I click OK. Now, if you try to go look for this order, and you'll see this one here, it says you are out. That order is because I did this video once before today, and the uh, 
Camtasia crashed. So I had to redo it again, guys. So that's why it was already loaded in the activation rules when we went there before. And I just X'd out of it to show you again. But, so forget about that yellow. Okay, it's not there yet. See, what's got to happen is we need to make sure of a couple of things. Number one, we make sure activation rule stays checked. Number two, if it's said limit, we've got to change it to a market order. And you want to make sure it's good until you cancel it. So now we're going to click sell to close. And you're going to get a very interesting message. You're placing a good to cancel order outside of the regular session. Uh, click yes if you want to make the order available at the next regular session. We click yes. Right? And then we get this order screen right here. Sell to close 10 of the Costco July 150 calls at market. Good to cancel. And then the advanced activation rules are based on the price of Costco. Not time, price. One f greater than or equal to 158 or less than or equal to 152 and a half. It is super important that you read that and read it out loud. You could read your account to make sure in case you have multiple. I'm not worried about the price or the commission or the cost or the credit or any of that right now. I'm not right worried about that. There is a details button there. It says activation rule. You will sell 10 contracts at market if the following condition occurs. This greater than 150 or less than 152 and a half. All right, and that was the details button. Once you're good with this, you now click yes. And you'll notice it's up here in green. And it shows, right, filled or canceled. Neither one happened. There's no date and time in there. Then it shows Costco symbol, right, same symbol I have loaded up here. Oh, it's not a spread. We're selling to close 10 contracts. There are 10 left. We're selling it at market. It's queued. Intelligent route means we're sending it off for best bid, best ask. The duration is good until we cancel it. And then here's the advanced order. that we put out there that says greater than or equal to 158 or less than or equal to 152 and a half. And keep in mind, you could trade this off of the SPX if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be Costco. You could say, hey, if the SPX gets up to here, get me out. Right, so that activation order is now in place. So that's one way to do it. Another way is if we were to click on the trading apps and go to the Option Station Pro, I think I already have it open. I do. Okay. So I'm going to maximize Option Station Pro. And let's say that um, I was bullish on Apple just to pick a stock, right? You go into the option chain. I type in Apple. And I'm going to buy an option. It is uh, that we're one week away from the weekly option. So I'm going to go ahead out and buy the third week of July. Right, which is right here. Um, actually, third week is the 15th. Okay. So I go into this option chain. I see delta. I see open interest. Ooh, look at that. So lots of open interest, huh? I'm looking for that delta of about 65 to 75. I have 74 delta. 47,000 open interest, 495 by 505. If I put my mouse on the bid, it says sell. On the ask, it says buy, right? It's always the one I don't want. And again, whether you're bullish or bearish today on Apple, it wouldn't matter. This is an exercise of how to place the trade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy this option here. So I'm not going to just, you know, I can click on it and that will highlight it if I left click on it. But if I right click on it, it says place trade and there is a, a key control left click you know a hot key to do it but I'm just gonna click place trade now remember what did I do if it was a different strike I right cl um, left click to highlight it and then right click to place trade so let's go back into what we want left click to highlight and it doesn't matter where you highlight it could be here makes no difference Left click to highlight, and then on the 505, on the ask, right click to place trade. So now it's showing me, right, uh, and my quantity is here. I can't change it from here. If I wanted to do more contracts, I could do it right from here, right? Um, it's showing my limit price is $5, right? It's, it was trading at 505. 
Okay, and I can change that. That was the ask. All right, so to 505. Let me do it this way. Bring it up a little higher on the screen. It's an intelligent order. You are not picking a particular exchange it's going to, and the order is going in for the day. Okay, but then on top of that, we're going to set an activation rule. So we're going to click a checkbox there and go through the activation rule. This look familiar? It's exactly what we just did. Apple, add, add. First one is greater than, the second one is less than and equal to. It's still the STT, and it's not and, but or. Now we just need to set some values in there. Apple right now would be 98.95. Assuming we bought it, assuming we bought it, we would be looking at, now this one you can backspace and, and pull parts of it out, guys. So I'm just going to do just that, highlight all of it. And assuming you bought this one on Monday or the next trading day, it is a weekend right now, we're going to say we're going to get out at 102. And I'm just making up the numbers for now. And then less than or equal to 97. So greater than or equal to 102 or less than or equal to 97. Click OK. Once this is done, I click Place Order. And then a pop-up comes up just like it did before. Apple, July 15, 2016, 95, call long, 505 limit. Buy to open one Apple, 15, uh, July 15, $95 call, intelligent routing for the day. Activation on the advanced activation rules are, are on Apple itself greater than or equal to 102 or less than or equal to 97. All right, and it gives you max reward, max risk, and, and, and so forth. So once you're good with that, guys, you would place that trade. You'd click yes. Only GTC slash GTD orders when markets are closed. So uh, let me click OK. So good to close, I guess. Place order. You're placing a GTC, GTD order outside of the regular session. If you click yes, if you want to make the order available for the next regular session. We click yes. Read the same thing. Good to cancel. We, play, we hit yes, and now that order was submitted. And if we go back in, see we've got two green ones in there. And this one is the apple one. Right, and there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Uh, remember, there is a ton of great tutorials on TradeStation's website, so go check those out. All right, have a wonderful day. God bless, and I will see you soon. Take care, folks.